Hello YouTube, welcome back. I'm Stark Rising. So real quick, this rock, watch on. Had that thing on it. It's like no longer there. So I guess I'll never know what the heck it was. But on top of all that, the reason why I believe it is gone is because of those. Yeah, we got me some uh, <clears throat> hermit crabs. I got six of them. Um, so I got those six hermit crabs. I got this Mexican turbo snail. And then if you can see him in the middle of the screen there. Back there. There's an emerald crab. Right now the tank's kind of like pissed off, I guess you'd say, because, well, mainly because uh, it's really cold here in Louisiana right now for some reason. Like it just got really cold in of nowhere. But, um, I'm trying to keep my bedroom <clears throat> warm so uh, the temperature doesn't go bad. Because right now it's at about 69. <clears throat> Alright, sorry about that. Alright, so, besides that mysterious thing that was on this rock disappearing, which if you remember was like right there, well it's gone, and it looks like there's less green star pumps on here, that's because... I super glued a bit of them back there on the back glass. So hopefully those will spread because I kind of I've seen on other people's videos where they have it on the back glass and it looks pretty neat. Then if you notice right there, some zinnia. Now I didn't buy the zinnia. Kind of, not really. I uh, it actually came on. <clears throat> this blue mushroom frag, which you can still see there's some on there. When I bought the mushroom frag, the blue mushroom, it had some zinnia stuck to it. So it had what shows there, and then I took the rest of it that was attached to it as a big thing of it, and stuck it up there. Which I think would look pretty cool right there in the middle to have zinnia just like grow out. Which would be pretty neat. It also came with it right back here. It also accidentally came with some more little zoanthids. And I also got another red mushroom. So all in all I got six hermit crabs, one Mexican turbo snail, one emerald crab, uh, a blue mushroom, a red mushroom, and some hitchhiker zinnia and a hitchhiker zoomed in back there so um, they're doing okay uh, made sure to acclimate them properly so not to lose them because I mean I do miss having the mushrooms I had if you notice there's another little piece of them green star polyps that came off of this rock <coughs> and that red macroalgae or something on there not exactly sure what it is, but I noticed that it looks like it's being taken off this side of the rock, so I think the hermit crabs are kind of munching on it. Now the uh, second thing, second, third, whatever, I've, whatever order I'm in at this point, uh, comes to a question because it would kind of have to be true, I guess. <clears throat> right dead center in the middle of the screen. Do you see that? Right there. I'm going to zoom back out because it's horrible quality there. That, I believe, is a remnant survivor of the Kenya tree that I used to have. Kind of strange, huh? I could have swore all those, those soft, soft corals like the Kenya tree and the uh, um, 
mushroom corals when the tank crashed during the move they just kind of melted like they just dissolved into nothingness and I could have swore that that Kenya tree was completely gone and it was on this rock but it wasn't like right there it was up here or over here somewhere I looked at some of the old videos they like what nowhere near right there and I was wondering if anybody knew if a uh, coral can somehow go dormant during like a tank crash inside and like go dormant inside of a rock or something I don't know because I'm really kind of fascinated that that is there other than that it's pretty much the aquarium uh, put Kimmy Pure in the aqua clear first thing I took out the foam and I knew I said before that uh, I wanted to wait to get fish until later on so the uh, just because but I think I'm going to go ahead and maybe get either some a firefish and some clownfish depending on which one I can afford at first I think I'm just going to go with the firefish but I'm kind of uh, worried about getting the firefish because I hear that uh, they're jumpers and have nothing covering the top of my glass so hopefully I don't end up wasting the money on one to get him in here and he just jumps out um, I had Xenia before and I didn't have really good luck with them and somebody said that I don't have any fish in here causing the water to slightly get dirty and that Xenia like um, dirty water I don't know or something similar to that but uh, this is pretty much this tank update. Um, I really like the blue mushroom. I think it's pretty neat. I'm hoping that red mushroom acclimates better. It's kind of staying closed up. Because I remember the mushrooms I had before, after I had them for about two or three weeks, they started opening up and getting huge. And also, you could tell that that fragazuanthus right there has already been moved over most likely by the emerald crab or that Mexican turbo snail because he was all the way over here but I think that's going to wrap it up for this video I'm trying not to make it too long because they take forever to upload uh, rate, subscribe, comment I like any ideas on how I got that Kenya tree back and uh, alright guys take care thanks for watching